Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today is day 27 in our December Daily Challenge. This prompt for today is Last Christmas. And I'm going to just take some scraps of some of the things that we've used over the last couple of, um, this last month and try and use up some of the papers that I have on hand. And as you can see, the journal's getting nice and plump. We've got about five more days to go. And I want to leave a couple of pages at the end for some goal planning and any other, other little things that I need to put in the journal. So we're just going to flip way over to, and I believe I'm going to do this page here, only because we finished our Silent Night, which I really, really loved, and I want to go along these lines. Um, but I didn't want to use this cardstock, and then this this is very vintage paper. So I wanted to try and give us a little um, fresher start here. So we're going to go with this page here. Um, I did find this really cute vintage card. It's actually very yellowed, um, and it had this really peach-colored frame, and I've cut the frame off because it didn't go with the colors I was using, but it's got a little bit of gold in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's just adorable. It's got a little mouse here. Santa's putting some magical dust down the chimney. So we're going to use that little card. Um, some of the scrapbook paper that we had. These are some of the scraps. And that was one of the little journaling cards that we cut out of the back. And then these are some of the scraps from that page that we used on the other layout. And these are some scraps that I had from another page. And these are just Christmas trees with snow. So it kind of goes along that same coloring. And I've just got a scrap piece of music. This is actually scrapbooking paper, but it was a music theme. So they kind of all went together. So we're going to start off fairly simply and just distress the edges of our pages. Today was the 27th and I woke up and made breakfast. So it's a Sunday morning and I normally get to sleep in on a Sunday morning. So I did. Um, and I made breakfast. We had waffles and pancakes. <laughs> and by the time I finished the dishes, my husband started collecting all the Christmas decorations and was piling them up on the table. So today was the day we took down our decorations, which I was kind of hoping he would bend a little on taking them down so soon, but no. So, <laughs> so today was kind of a mellow day. We took all the ornaments off of our Christmas tree, uh, put the tree away. Yeah, it was just a really kind of low-key day for us. And I'm putting all the decorations away. And then I made some homemade soup that I like to make um, on vegetable soup. I did that. So it was just a kind of a catching up kind of day. So I think I'm going to put that on there. I really like this. Um, Stamperia scrapbook. It, I believe it was called um, Botanical uh, Christmas, something like that. Um, I can't find it, the cover under all of my pile here. Sorry, I got glue stuck to my finger. And I'm going to use my fab or my fabric tack only because this is cardstock. Come on, glue. I'm going to learn to leave it on its side so that it will stay near the top. This pour bottle is almost done and I'm hoping I can finish it during this journal so that I can recycle the bottle. Let's see. All right, so we got that guy on there and I lost my lid. And we're gonna leave it on the side. Okay, so let's put this guy on this corner here like that. And I think I'm going to use I might put that, actually, let me just distress this really quickly. I think I might try and put this underneath, so I haven't pushed that one down yet. I don't want to cover up the tree. I might try and put this underneath, like kind of in the corner here. Like that. That's what I wanted to do. 
So it just kind of layers it up a little bit. There we go. And then I thought I would take this little little card and put it right there. So it kind of goes with that color theme. And we'll make this um, a journaling card. So I'm going to cover the back. Actually, let's cover the back with... Let's put them in and then we'll cover the back up with something. And sorry for the terrible light in here. It's After putting away all the decorations, I finally made some time to come in and do my video. <laughs> straight. This little guy is not straight. There we go. All right, we're going to push that guy down. So we have our little journaling card there. And then this is last Christmas. So I think I'm just going to put this. Let's see what it looks like. Across the top there. I thought I would put it kind of up near the top here. Good, we can still see that. Good. And then on this side, we're going to just stress this card. Like and I might do a little bit of edging on this guy just to take away some of that white edge. So I'm thinking this will go across the bottom here. So let's put that on. My glue is oozing out because I didn't put the lid on. So let's use up the glue. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this across the bottom. there and then I thought I would put this guy up near the top here. I really like this paper. This is just really pretty and I wanted to use it up. Okay, so I'm going to set him right about there. Like that. And then I have this little piece of tree and I'm just going to have him kind of off to the side. And they don't have to be touching or overlapping every time. But I have this three inch piece so I just cut it in two to use it for both pages. And I love the red back so I'm hoping I can use, I have a small piece left of this. I hope I can use that in another layout with the red. Okay, let's put the lid on there. Okay. And then we'll put this guy right there like that. And then we'll put our number on, number 27. And I thought we could put it maybe, no, I don't want to put it on the same page. So let's put it right here in this corner. Here's 27. And then this little guy is going to be a journaling card, obviously. And he's going to have those little corners. And I am going to distress the edges, so let's move this out of the way. He's so cute. I was cleaning out um, a bag of stuff that I had brought home and I, he kind of fell out of the bag. And I thought, perfect! And I might um, stamp something on him. I'm not sure what yet. I think it is the season. a stamp. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper if I have one somewhere. I think I do. That's pretty. I want to see. Oop, dropped it. <laughs> I want to see if I can get it on this card, right in that corner there. So 
So we'll see if we can fit it in there. So I'm just going to put it on there. Perfect. Tis the season. And so I will write about having to take it down my decorations and I actually took my time today and was able to put them away where I wanted to, not rush, 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 rush. So it was kind of nice to pack them away. Sometimes we're in such a rush that <laughs> I just kind of throw everything in a bin and you forget where everything is. So I was able to label it properly and get them where they needed to go and we vacuumed up all the little pine needles. Yes, it was a fake tree, but my goodness, it sheds like crazy. Okay, so there's our little journaling card. And I don't have to put anything um, on the back of him, but I do have to put something on the back of this one. And I might just use a piece of this. So I need something that is, well, this is three inches by four inches. So let me just cut this real quick. Perfect. So it's just going to fit on the inside there and we're going to distress the edges. And yes, somewhere in that mess is my, there it is. <laughs> Excuse my head. I promised myself I would start putting some stuff away, but got distracted making my password notebook and uh, <laughs> just got away from me. Okay, so we're going to glue this little guy on here. Oops. Side right, I guess it doesn't really matter. And let's just line it up. That looks about right. Good. So we have our little journaling card. And I do have a stamp here. Let's try this stamp. Um, use that scrap. I'm just going to move the book aside for a second. I want to show you the stamp. This is the stamp that I used on the back of that little, the little tags I made out of old cards. And it's just some lines. So I'm just going to stamp it. And see if it looks... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Now that I put that on the back of the card. Like that, and then maybe I could put something on the top there. What can we put on the top? We have snowflakes. We could use a snowflake. Hmm, maybe this one? Oh my, these are hard to come off. Oh, how about the holly? Take off my tis the season, put the holly on. And again, we'll stamp it on our other piece of paper first, just to see what it looks like. I like that. I think I'm going to do it that way. There. So there's my little journaling card. And that will go back in our book. Get that out of the way. Put our book back in. And we'll put our little journaling card in there. Get in there. There we go. I'm stuck at the top, that's why it's not going in. There. Okay, so we have that. And then maybe a snowflake there. 
There's some. No, I don't want to put Holly because that's not. Oops, it's in the picture. But I will put a little snowflake right there. These are brand new and they're so hard to get off. <laughs> the plastic. It's crazy. Oh, there I go. <laughs> okay. So let's stamp this guy. Yeah, that one's pretty. So we'll stamp him right there. Pretty. And we'll do another one over here just to tie them together. Yeah, I like those. I don't want to have it exactly the same, so we're going to turn it. There we go. Yes, I like that. All right, so there is my last Christmas, December 27th. And I will be journaling about taking down our decorations today and making homemade soup and working on my password book and that kind of stuff. So that's what will go on the journaling card. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.